Fraction decomposition. The first thing you gotta do is factor the denominator. So let's do it. <clears throat> okay, if I factor this denominator, uh, let's see. We get x squared plus four, x squared minus four. Oh, snap. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me, dog. No, I'm not kidding you. Check this out. We have, um, this can be factored also, x minus two and x plus two. Yes, look at all that factoring that you have to do. We have x squared plus four, and then we have x minus two, and then we have x plus two. All these ducks in here, what, what are they doing? Okay, I'm gonna do this in a strategic order. We have negative four x squared, and on the bottom we have x to the fourth minus 16. What is this supposed to equal? This is supposed to equal one, two, three fractions adding together. We have one for x minus two. We have one for x plus two. What if I don't have the same order? It's fine, chill. Okay, and we have one for x squared plus four. All right, all right. So this one gets an A, this one gets a B, and this one gets a CX plus D. How come it gets a CX plus D? Because the degree is um, greater than one. Um, you're not going to do this thing. You know, like, there's another thing where you have to do it again, but you take one degree down. You guys remember that? Okay, you don't do it with that. You do that with a, a higher multiplicity. Let's pretend for a minute that this factor is like this. This factor has a multiplicity of two. Then you would need to do this again with a multiplicity of one. So A, B, C, D, E, X plus F. Okay, so yes, if this was a multiplicity of two, then you would write it uh, again, but go down a multiplicity. Does that make sense? Because there's a squared in the factor, in the factor, we have to have the CX plus D. All right, let me give you another scenario. If uh, this one said squared, if that one said squared, you would have to do another one of these, but it would be with just x plus two raised to the one power, but this would just be a c. Uh, but I mean, you wouldn't use c because I already used c right there, but that's how you would do it if you have a multiplicity that is higher than one. All right, you guys ready for this action? <laughs> this is gnarly. Let's multiply everything by the common denominator. So then you get negative four x squared my, or equals a times x plus two. Oops, I still have that squared right there. That shouldn't be there. Um, and then we have times x squared plus four. Oh, this is hideous. My goodness, guys. What, do you guys not have a life or something? I have to solve this. You gave it to us. Oh, that's right. Look at this monster. Um, <laughs> x minus two x plus two. Oh dang so now we gotta pick some x values right right no wait i totally did that last one wrong you guys didn't catch it you guys must be getting weak yo know, my powers are going down too late i fixed it already don't forget the review is harder than a test okay all right let's pick some x values to eliminate some things shall we yes Okay, now there's two ways to do this. We can pick some x values to eliminate some factors, or we can simplify this nasty side and then combine all the x squared terms and all the x terms and then all the constants. I'm gonna try to do the x thing first. Let's try negative two. Negative two gets rid of this guy. So then this whole thing would just be gone, right? All right, and then uh, this one, does it go away? No, that, that one doesn't go away. So we would have, uh, that would be negative 2 squared. That would be negative 16 equals. The A is gone, but the B is chilling. What do we get with the B? If I plug in negative 2 to this, that would be a negative 4. And what would this be? That would be, would be negative 4. 4 plus 4. Oh, no. That would be 8. Negative, negative 4 times 8? Negative 32. Negative 32. 32. Okay. Plus... Now we have this nasty business over here. What happens to this guy? It cancels out. I plug in negative two to this, it's zero, it cancels out. Oh snap, this is not that bad. 
So far, so good. B equals 1 half. Because I divide both sides by negative 32, I have a B. All right? You guys gravy? Wait, what happens to C? Oh, because if I plug negative 2 into this, it's going to make this 0. And that would multiply to this guy and this guy. It'd just make everything 0. It was gone. All right, give me another one that would be very wise to pick. X equals? Dose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's choose two. That would be um, negative 16 still first. And then what about this guy? What happens to that one? If I plug in two, what do I get? Four. Oh, I, get I get 32 again. Or negative 32. No, nope. positive 32. So I get A times positive 32. And then what happens to um, this guy gets canceled out because... 2 minus 2, and this guy gets canceled out. Oh, snap, this is a happy day. We have A equals positive 1 half. All right, so we got our A and we have our B. What are we going to pick to eliminate everything else so that we can find our C and our D? All right, I forgot to put that negative right there. Oh, you want to plug in 0? But then that wouldn't eliminate this one, this one, this one, this one. Like, they would still be there. Uh, why don't you plug in the numbers? And yeah, we're not going to be able to plug in any x value that will eliminate those other things so that we can solve this. So you know what we have to do? Yeah, I like 0. That's not a bad idea. We could pick 0, and we could plug 0 into all these x's, and then we would plug in negative 1 half for the a and then positive 1 half for the b. Then you would solve. Is he real to take uh, no, this one like this will not be on the test. This will take way too long to do. Yeah. And I'm sorry, right now I don't have time to finish this. But what you would do is you would um, you would uh, multiply this out, uh, plug in your a value and your b value, and then you're gonna do this twice. You're gonna pick an x value like zero and plug it in to all the x's. And you're going to pick an x value like 1 and then plug in all the x's so that when you simplify everything, you'll get two equations. And with those two equations, you will solve a system of equations uh, for C and D. All right, that's how you finish the problem. And I wouldn't stress too much about uh, a problem this long for uh, fraction decomposition because this is far harder than what you're going to see on the exam.